I'm recording today's video in response to a message I received from my friend Cynthia Phillip, um, who has a question about how does, does one go about editing their photos from different computers. So if you have a laptop and you have a desktop and you would like to edit your photos from both, or like not in the same time, but you would like to edit your photos either on a big setup like that or on a laptop at different times. So in this video, I'm going to walk you through my process as to how I do that and I edit my photos from different computers um, and I do my housekeeping in a way that makes things organized and clean and I don't get confused between a thousand Lightroom catalogs or a duplicate copy of RAW files on two different computers. So to achieve this, I'm using a device called Network Attached Storage. Essentially, it's very self-explanatory. Uh, it's a network device that goes shows up on your network as a hard drive. It is a hard drive that shows up on your network um, that you can access from different computers. I store my raw files on the network attached storage and then I store my Lightroom catalog on an external USB hard drive. I plug my USB hard drive into the computer that I would like to use, so be it the desktop in this case or my laptop, um, and then I open my Lightroom catalog, locate the network attached storage so that Lightroom can see the raw files and then I would go from there. Um, so for the purpose of this video, I'm going to show you quickly my process as to how I set that up. How do I make sure I set up my user credentials? Essentially, a user credentials setup helps you not have to log in every time you open the Lightroom catalog. So essentially, when you open your PC, because it's a network attached device, it doesn't show up really fast and it can take some time to log in and, and like get you in the network attached storage. So let's just jump into it and see what the process looks like. So now that we are on my desktop computer, what I would like to show you is how the network attached storage device shows up. Um, so I have it mapped here, so it shows up in network location. Um, so in my case, I'm using the WD Western Digital MyCloud. Um, this is the device that they have for network attached storage. Um, devices. Um, they have a couple of, of other devices that you guys can use. Um, this is kind of the lower end of, of the spectrum. Um, so when you buy the device, you will go ahead and buy the software, download the software um, from WD My Cloud. Um, so if you go on their website, you can create an account, sign in. There are two softwares that you need to download. Uh, the first is called WD Access. WD Access will make sure that your device is showing up on your network properly. Um, so you can use functions like the map function here. Um, so once you create a folder in, in the network attached storage, in my case, I call my folder Yusuf, uh, you can hover on map and then click on Yusuf. And what will that do is will create this icon here that you can see in my computer. Um, so once you have that created, you also need to know your IP address and you can also know that IP address and all the information you need to know about your device once you have it set up from the, the WDMI access uh, settings. So if you click on settings, uh, it shows you your IP address here and loads up the page you can, down, you can sign in with your username and password uh, and configure your device. Um, so once you know the IP address, this number is going to be very important. Don't forget about it. Um, and make sure that you set a fixed IP address. There is a lot of YouTube tutorials for WDMI Cloud. It's a popular device. Um, so you will find tutorials that will teach you how to do that. My purpose in this video is I want to show you how to do Windows credentials. So essentially, if you set everything up and don't do with Windows credentials, uh, what will end up happening is when you double click here, it will not let you in that fast. What will happen is it will ask you for a username and password every single time you try to sign in in your mapped network drive from every computer. Um, so creating the user credentials avoids that process, avoids that you would have to always put your username and password every time. Um, so to create a user credential, you go to start control panel and then you click on user accounts and then you click on Windows, I mean on credential manager. And then here you will find two credentials that I have. Um, so the f you click on add Windows credential. Here you're going to put your, either the name that you gave to the device, which in my case it's called Yusuf Nas one or you can put your IP address, uh, which in my case is not 192.168.0. something. Uh, so your number is going to be different. Most likely it will be a class C network. So it will start with 192.168.0. something. That last fourth, 
uh, bit will be different for you and then you're going to enter your username and password that you've set up for the cloud account. Um, so I have two here, I have two credential because um, the first credential is my network attached device. The second credential is my laptop. Um, so that when I click on network here, I can see my Yusuf NAS device here. There you go. And then I can see my Lenovo PC. My Lenovo PC is essentially my laptop and I don't want to have to enter my username and password for my laptop every time I double click it either. Um, so the way I work with this is I have a primary catalog and I have a secondary catalog. The primary catalog I store on a USB hard drive uh, that I plug into the computer that I would like to work with. So in this case, this is volume D. I will click on Lightroom catalog primary working version. So this is my working version. I will double click on it. I will double click on primary working version. So this Lightroom catalog is is residing on my USB hard drive that I plug into either my desktop or my laptop. Um, however, my raw images are not on the hard drive, they are on my USB, uh, on my NAS network attached storage device. As you can see here, it says Yusuf 192.168.0. Blah blah blah. So, this essentially is a network device that I can see and Lightroom can see from my desktop and from my laptop so that if I want to edit from my laptop, I just plug in my USB hard drive, open my catalog, and I have the same access to the same folder. Um, so I have a folder that I called raw images and then I have subfolders in that that you know I store individual files in. Um, so if, if I want to um, go into any photo or any any this is fast, I would say as fast as storing photos locally on your hard drive, it does not slow down my, uh, my progress at all. Um, as you can see here, if, if I wanted to, uh, to find a photo, it, it's pretty fast and it, it loads up. It doesn't take a lot of time and it's pretty sharp. Um, and if, if, just to prove the point, if I go click in, uh, in Show Explorer, uh, that opens into computer, Yusuf, the address, uh, which is a network attached storage, photography, raw files, and then the person's name, uh, which I can have that very same access from a different computer and edit those files from a different computer. Um, the only thing you have to store locally is just your Lightroom catalog that has to stay on, an, on, a, on a USB hard drive, not on your network attached device. Um, Adobe does not allow us to, to use uh, network attached storage to put Lightroom catalogs on. I personally don't know what the reason is, but I can cope with it. I can live with that. Um, so now that we have both credentials, my process is essentially uh, when I shoot away from my location and I'm not um, on, on my desktop, what I do is I import stuff onto my laptop and then I have a secondary Lightroom catalog that I have on my laptop, stored on my laptop's drive locally. And then um, I import from that catalog to my primary one. Um, and to do that, what I do is I go file. Um, actually, I'm sorry, before I go show you that, um, as you see here in the network, you have access, I have access to my Lenovo PC. And then if I double click that, there is this folder that has my uh, catalog. You can always map that network drive and put it in my computer just like the other one. Um, in this case, I don't feel that I need to map it. Um, so here I have access to my secondary catalog. What I will do is after I finish a shoot, I import on my laptop just to see stuff, export my proofs, put stuff online. Uh, but when I go home, I want everything to be on my network attached storage so that I have everything in one place. Um, what I do is I go file, import from another catalog, and then you click here and then you find this catalog, um, which is the secondary catalog, which will move files from uh, your main catalog to your, sorry, from your secondary catalog to your main catalog. Um, so once you've done that, the photos move from your local um, hard drive on your laptop to your network attached storage. Um, once you do that, you can always uh, find and edit your images from the network attached device from the primary catalog that you have on your own uh, USB hard drive. Um, make sure you don't have any duplicates of raw files. Make sure that you're moving the raw files on import dialog. Uh, and that you're not copying them. Um, copying them will be disastrous because then you have a copy in the secondary catalog and the copy in the primary catalog and it will confuse you. Um, so my recommendation is to have two Lightroom catalogs 
just one that is called primary that has everything and then a secondary one just on the go, import stuff on the go, work on the stuff that you have on the go. Uh, and once you are home or you need to work on your desktop, so you can import from another catalog just like I showed you and, and you can use the network um, feature that I just showed you so that you can have your laptop show up on your network as, as well as your NAS device. Uh, and that way you can always use your USB hard drive to edit your primary Lightroom catalog either on your desktop, on your laptop, or even on someone else's laptop. If, if something horrible happens to you um, and your devices crash, you can always know that you can buy another device, just plug your USB hard drive in it, install Lightroom, and create your user credential and you're good to go. You have nothing to lose. Um, so that's it for this video. I hope this video helped you. If it did, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe for more. And if you have any comments, um, or things that you would like to see in these videos, please let me know. Thank you very much. See you next time.